All right, guys, I have a little bit of a pressing project today that I wanted to share with you. So I'm working on a submitted book, this uh, acclaimed Maximum Carnage number one with uh, one of my favorite artists, Bill, who did the cover artwork on here. And this is really hard to, uh, to book to come by. It came with the Maximum Carnage game. A lot of people tossed them out and it is extremely flimsy. It's almost like an ash can, very thin. Paper is very sensitive, and that's why a lot of these copies are beat up and hard to find in a high grade. This one's pretty good looking, so I'm going to give you a kind of a walkthrough of it. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about right there. I'm not sure if that's going to come out with pressing, but I'm going to work on it. And it might be an opportunity to show you guys what I need to do with a steel roller ball to maybe work out that paper a little bit um, as well. Uh, but you can see the paper, got some, it's got some bends to it, some real ripples that come with age, uh, maybe a couple spine ticks over here. But overall, it's really good. There's not a lot of color breaks over there. And I'll uh, flip it over and show you the, the back. Same on the back cover. Looks really good overall. Not, not really any color rub anywhere. Uh, I don't really see any spine ticks. I mean, again, a lot of these, the spines are really beat up. So I'm going to get this book uh, prepped. And I'll show you real quick. So you can see, very, very flimsy. You know, very few pages. And you always want to check inside the, the comic. You know, I'm going to flip through this before I press it. Uh, really cool interior artwork here. And it, uh, it follows the, the game storyline. And the, again, I just wanted to note that how like thin and kind of susceptible to damage this book is, which is why it's really hard to, to find in a high grade. So I'm going to get it ready. Uh, let's see if I can actually prep it here with you. I'm going to flip over to the centerfold. Do this out without getting in the way of the camera lens. All right, so we got the centerfold right there. First thing I want to check is how raised those staples are. All right, and you'll if you ever look through a Venom book, check out uh, Venom Three in the current series or uh, any of the ones kind of Venom Nine. If you open to the centerfold, those guys have huge staples. And when you do those books, when you press those books, you actually have to use two sheets of a magazine backer board sandwiched in the middle to protect the, the, the spine. So if you, uh, what you want to do is you end up sandwiching those staples and the backer boards protect the rest of the book from when you put it in the press. This one is such that you don't need that extra board. You can line the, they're, they're really set in there deep. You line it up with the staples, kind of center it in there and you can uh, go ahead and close the book like that. And then I have 65 pound uh, cardstock right here and one sheet goes under the front cover all the way back as far as you can get to the edge of the book. If you have any spine splits, you don't want to do that. You want to go maybe one page deep and then um, see how, uh, and, and make sure you're not going to split the spine anymore. Okay, so one page on the back cover this one's super easy. It doesn't have a digital code insert that you have to sandwich. The staples are nice. This guy's ready to go, all right? Uh, I'm actually gonna put it in the humidity tank. Actually, I forgot I was gonna do that, so I'm gonna take these pages out. I'm gonna, uh, that way I can just show you what I did, but I, when I humidify this, I don't include those pages in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this in the humidity tank to make sure that we can loosen this paper up so that it's pliable when we put it in the press. That's gonna help that little dent come out. And then I'm going to press this book and then come back and look at the, the results after the first round of pressing and see if we need to do additional work on that particular spot, which will show us some additional skills that we can apply. All right. See you later.
All right, so I did a round of pressing front and back side about 15 minutes at 145 degrees uh, on each side. After nine hours, I, so I did the front and then after nine hours I flipped it and did the back. And now I let it rest for another 12 hours, actually overnight. So it's been probably 24 hours, 30 hours or so that it's been in there. Just kind of worked out that way because of Halloween, perfect burke to be working on for, for Halloween. But let's take a look. The biggest thing is the dent on here. And it's actually going to give us the opportunity to, to pull out some advanced methods. So if you remember, there was a, a weird dent on the front. You can see did a pretty good job getting it out, but there's still like a weird but there we go, catch the light right there. You see that's that uh, by Venom's right hand, there is a little dent and then again down um, below, what is that, by Venom's right leg, you see that other little dent. So I don't know what created those marks, but it's gonna take a little extra work to, to get out. So the things I'm gonna use to do that are this uh, heat sealing iron press. This is a Hanger 9, you can get them on Amazon and a Q-tip with a little bit of distilled water on the very tip, and a steel ball bearing. I believe this is a one inch ball bearing that you can get on uh, Amazon. You can see a nice little reflection of me there, you guys. And we're going to try to pull out that dent from the front cover. So you wanna do this, uh, of course, being very cautious of where the dent is and what side of the book that you work on. I'm actually gonna work on it from the back side of the cover. So I'm gonna flip this over. You want, when you're doing this, you want parchment paper or silicone release paper, SRP paper on both sides. So on the front side and on the side that you're working on. So I'm going to turn this over, make a little mental note for myself where that, that dent was. So uh, I can probably see it there, but there's a couple, couple lines right there. Let me make sure I can. Get the right area. Okay, so right there. So by M, two spots I need to work on are by M and by his right hand, which is by Carnage's mouth. So right here and right here. All right, let me make sure that we can have a good angle right there. All right, so I'm gonna be car careful of the spine, you know, SRP paper on this side. We're gonna put SRP paper on that side. I could still see it, so I'm gonna to need to work on this area and then this area here. And the first thing I'm gonna start doing is with the steel roller ball, with the steel bar bearing, is to uh, gently, two fingers with pressure, start rolling that area out. And it's basically trying to get that crease or those little dents. You can use this for deep creases and you can use it for uh, dents. Uh, one book that I worked on, I think it was uh, the Marvel Action 10, I had to go all the way to the centerfold to get the dent out. It looked like somebody took a ball peen hammer to the cover of that thing. But I, I worked on every page individually just like this. So flipping each page, putting a, a backer board underneath it, and then rolling it out with the steer ball bearing. And I've, I've wiped this off again, so I'm going to do this. Again, you're understanding now why you need that SRP paper underneath the cover and uh, also underneath this, this area. And then I'm going to heat up my hanger iron to a setting of 2.5. You can go anywhere from two to three. And I'll show you the method that you want to do this, but you just basically want to tap on for a second and tap off. You don't want to let the, the iron sit there or you will end up uh, burning the book. You'll burn the gloss right off of it. You'll distort the paper. You'll do some things you didn't want to do to your book. So you have to be very cautious. Again, these are a couple advanced techniques. The steel roller, roller ball. This is the this ball. I can chat to you while this guy hangs up, but this ball is really good for uh, getting handwriting. So if you see covers that had somebody that threw a sheet of paper on top of it and wrote over it, uh, and it has indentations from that, or somebody actually wrote on the cover in, let's say, pencil, and you're able to clean the pencil off, but you can't get the indentation off, this is the same method you would use to, to do that, to get that uh, indentations off. There's some really great videos from uh, Captain Mike, who has uh, a detailed process of doing handwriting. He actually puts that, the handwriting indentations on the paper, and then he uh, works to get it back out, and it's pretty amazing. 
basically doing the same technique. All right. All right, so I got a little heat in here. If you buy one of these the first time you use it, it might actually smoke. So uh, it's been used a few times. You want to make sure the surface is clean. And it, I'm going to use this, this part of it, and I'm just going to tap in those areas. And then I'm going to rotate doing that and using the steel roller ball. All right, try it under Carnage's chin. And this is basically like spot pressing it. And again, you need that paper on the top and bottom, kind of holding on both sides. I'm not pushing down with a lot of force. It's almost just the, my weight of my arm. I'm moving that around. All right, now it's always good just to check your work in between. So I'm going to look at that and look at this side of the paper. See, make sure I'm working on the right spots. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's a deep spot. Do my best to do my best to get it out. But I, I have no clue what, what made that. So I'm going to go one more time over here. And you don't want to move this back and forth. You kind of, there's definitely this uh, tendency to want to kind of like Press it like you're ironing a shirt or something. That is not the technique you want to use. You will end up um, taking taking the ink off the paper or causing ink transfer or something like that. So, yeah, you definitely want, don't want to do that. All right, and get it around his chin again. Try to do it all all along that crease. The thing I can't tell you, I mean, it, it looks like whatever did that almost went through the entire paper. All right. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try a method called the hot shots method. So I have this um, with some water on it, and I'm just going to put it in the spot where that, that mark is. Just a little bit to dampen it. And now I'm going to heat, do, use the tack iron. You don't want to saturate the page. Might as well try it up here a little bit. And basically this is just giving localized humidification to those areas to make them more pliable, but the paper around it will remain the same. You don't want to over humidify the cover. Now, after you do this, when you look at the sheet of paper, it's going to look a little distorted from your kind of like rubbing, but you're going to press it after this. So after this, I'm immediately going to put it in the press. And then we'll see how it turns out after the, the next round of pressing. So I'm going to go at this a couple more times off camera, uh, alternating the, the uh, press or the, sorry, the hanger iron and the steel ball just to rub it out a little more. And then I'm going to throw it back in the press for one more round front and back. And then tomorrow, hopefully it'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how it did, but that's going to be about the, as best as we can get it um, based on our methods here. But again, this is kind of an advanced method, steel roller ball to get indentations out or dents, handwriting dents, and the hanger iron to do some spot work to get some problem areas out. All right, so we'll uh, pick it up after this next round and see how it does. All right, I just want to show you real quick. I've done it a couple more times. 
uh, see if I can catch the light. Now you see, you'll see the area that I'm working on kind of had a little bit of distortion just from the ball bearing work and everything. But the one above his leg is, is going to be hard for us to get out. The one below it, I think I made significant progress on it. So I'm going to replace the, the stacking material. You want to replace the card stock under the front and back covers because those basically you can imagine those have the remnants of that indentation in it. Uh, so I'm going to replace that and I'm going to throw this guy back in the press. All right, guys, well, we've done our second round of pressing the front and back cover after using the ball bearing and the tack iron to do some spot work on that dent that was in the front cover, or I should say that crease and the dent that was on the front cover, as well as uh, doing a method called the hot shots method that requires putting a little localized humidity or, or moisture and then using the ball bearing and the uh, tack iron to then smooth out those dents and so this is uh, after that so again another round of pressing flipped after nine hours and done the back and now we have kind of a final product and I have to say I'm really happy with how it turned out so I'll try to catch the light but basically uh, that in that area where that den was you remember we were looking at below Carnage's right or uh, Venom's right hand as well as under his leg so we pretty much have completely got out that dent that was below his leg Right now, the only thing left is that tiny little mark under his hand. And unfortunately, that's the best it's going to get. That's uh, just like permanent damage that's going to like, maybe maybe do one more round, but I don't think it would get any better than that. And I think at that point, you risk damaging some of the, the paper. So that, that is working on it. We did get the other dent. There was one other one that was by Spider-Man's leg. But just to, just to look at this thing and uh, catch the light. Uh, and you'll see that we pretty much have worked out all of those different uh, dents that were, or all the different bends that were in the crease. And we have a really nice clean book right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my support. So that's the under the front cover, under the back cover, and finally, or the centerfold and then the back cover. I have here my uh, my light too with my full back board. And I'm going to put it in here and then we're going to call this guy a day. See, uh, I have really high hopes for this one. I think we are maybe in the 9.6 category. So we'll see. I think uh, I'm, I'm at least a 9.4, possibly a 9.6 on that book, depending on how much they take off for that little, uh, that little dent there. So I'll tap it down. As you know, I love these bags and boards. Really nicely protected in there. I'll probably put this one in an archive as well just to keep it extra safe. But there we go. Really nice and pretty. And uh, off to CGC and uh, excited to see what, what grade we're gonna get. Thanks for joining me on this, uh, on this adventure to clean and press this book and to uh, resolve some of those significant defects that were uh, that we had with it. So I'm really happy with how it turns out. I hope the customer's happy as well. I think they will be when they get the grade back.